All right. So your trip for Hajj is coming up very soon. And this is probably your first time going for Hajj. And Alhamdulillah for that. So you're probably wondering what do you need to pack. So my idea here is to show you what to pack as a pilgrim coming from the West. Going for Hajj, inshallah, for Hajj 2023 and beyond. And I really hope that this video will be beneficial in helping you determine what to pack. It'll mainly be based off of things that I myself will be getting. Or someone in a similar boat as me. So someone taking their entire family, basically. I'm going to be showing most of the things here on online shopping. So that you're able to see and I can provide you with links. Or at least ways to, you know, look around and find... Uh, these particular items. So I'll be going through uh, documents that you're going to need for travel, for Hajj, that you should bring with you, and then personal items that you should be taking that are going to be super helpful. And these personal items will range from personal hygiene type of things to helpful things to bring to things that uh, if you have somebody who's perhaps an elderly passenger or somebody with a disability, it'll intend to help them as well. Uh, one thing I do want to mention that uh, for on Nusuk Hajj, uh, if you've gotten your package already and your booking is paid, Alhamdulillah for that and I hope that you've gotten your Hajj visa by now. There is a application that you do need to fill out about your personal details if you bought one of the Al Raji Mashara camp packages, the camp only packages like myself. So you do need to fill that out and you need to go to my bookings and you'll see that form over there on my bookings. So just make sure that you fill that out. It's just uh, basically you're just going to be stating your flight, what hotels you're going to be staying in in Mecca and Medina and for how long. Things like that. It's useful for Nusuk and uh, whatever booking company is associated with your package to help out with the logistics, basically. So I'm going to turn over to my screen now. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to look for, and perhaps one of the most crucial things that you want to bring, is an umbrella. So let's look for an umbrella. You want a durable one. So let's look up umbrella. Preferably, you want a white one so that um, it blocks off as much heat as possible because it's going to be very hot. Uh, Hajj is happening. It's happening during the last week of June. And you know that the temperatures are going to be in the 120s, 130s in uh, Makkah, Arafah area. So it's going to be extremely, excruciatingly hot. So it's very crucial that you bring an umbrella with you. So let's look for a white one. Matter of fact, let's do this even better. Let's look up a heat reflective umbrella. So right here, I do see a couple of good options. So we have uh, UPF 50 plus, UV protection, lightweight. Reviews look good on this. This is also a good one right here. And that's a good one right there. The sticks for these are a little bit not too favorable. Uh, these are more of the travel size ones. Let's see if there's a better stick one on these. Okay, so 68 UV wind cheater vented canopy umbrella. This looks like a good one. This also looks like a good one. 62 inch golf umbrella, extra large. So extra large one will do just fine to be honest. I would say let's go with this one because it's nice size. Um, the handle is nice. It looks comfortable. And yeah, it comes with a bag and everything. And yeah, it protects you from the sun. Silver color. You can choose different colors. So uh, just choose the biggest one if you can. And there's looks like there's a coupon on here. So you save some money, which is nice. So I would go with this. Definitely, definitely. Let's go ahead and just add this to the cart. So secondly, you want to bring a sort of uh, backpack, the thin type that we call drawstring backpack um, so that you can bring some of your essentials with you while you're on your Hajj journey. So drawstring backpack here. So you want to get a thin one. I would say, okay, this one looks good right here. This Nike one. And the quality is going to be a little bit better as opposed to getting an off-brand one. Um, it looks like there's an extra compartment at the bottom too. It looks like it's good quality. There's a zip up here too, which is nice. And yeah, it looks uh, yeah, it looks very good. It's not too big. This looks perfect. Um, let's go with this. It's good price too, fifteen dollars. So let's go ahead and add that to the cart. Uh, third thing you want to bring is a portable fan, and you want to bring this for everybody. You want to bring a portable fan with uh, some sort of like a mist type of capability. You're gonna need that during Yom Arafat. It's going to be very hot, so this will this will help out a lot, especially if the heat really affects you. So, portable fan with mist. Now, there's different kinds. You can get the handheld ones like these, which are nice, but you have to hold them with your umbrella. So you could, ideally, you could hold your umbrella plus the fan pointed at you, so you're getting uh, the cool air. Or you could get what's uh, what's a newer one called the, the neck fan. That's rechargeable. Um, now let's look for neck fan air conditioner here. Okay, so looks like there's like some good ones right here. There is Torasp Coolify Portable Neck Conditioner Neck Fan Hands Free. 
It has a 4,000 mAh rechargeable battery. So that's a pretty good size, good battery life in there. Um, I bought this one right here, portable net fan, 360 cooling. This one is also good. The battery's a little bit stronger too, 5,200. Only thing is the reviews are, there's not too many reviews. So it's kind of a risk, but inshallah it should be fine. So that's a good one. This one is a little bit better. The reviews are good, but uh, it's pretty pricey. This one also looks good. It looks like it has LED lights on it too. Uh, but let's look at another, a couple other ones. Okay, 3,000. So there's 3,000 of these, 4,000 mAh. This one looks pretty decent too, but the reviews aren't that great. Battery is pretty strong. But So let's go with this one. Let's go with this one because it has a lot of reviews. So you can save 5% if you buy two or more with that promo code. So if, you have, if you're buying one for each family member, you can end up saving a little bit of money. Um, but I would probably recommend to get this one just because the reviews are good. Uh, and let's just get a look at how it works. Surround, surrounding, surroundly cooling soft wind. I think they got a typo here, but it uh, looks like it is good at cooling. Three gear speed settings, double power. So it runs for three to 16 hours, three to five hours for a full charge. So uh, definitely I would encourage to bring this. Now uh, let's go ahead and add this to the cart. I'm just going to do one of each item. Uh, we don't need protection. All right, let's give it a second. Okay, so that's your fan covered. Now, since this is a rechargeable fan and you're going to have your phone with you too and along with other electronics, I recommend getting a power bank and you want a good power bank, right? So power bank and you want to get it for uh, whatever phone you have because um, some of them don't work too well with uh, like iPhone, for example. So you want to make sure it's for iPhone if you have an iPhone. Um, all right, so you see this is a 4,500 mAh. That's a little bit too small. You want to go, ideally, at least go 15,000 mAh or more so that you get a couple of charges out of it. Um, you can see this one is 25,000, 25,800, which is pretty good. That's actually pretty strong. Um, Anchor, the only thing with that one, though, is it's not, I can't tell what brand it is, but the reviews look really good, 25,000 reviews, and it's only $25, so it looks like a no-brainer to me. Uh, Anchor is a really good brand, but it's only 10,000 mAh. So you're basically tra trading off reliability for less capability. Um, there's two here, two pieces, 15,000 each. Not bad if you're you know, traveling as a family, you can get one for each person. It's, it's not a bad idea. Uh, but let's look at if there's even a stronger one. Okay, 40,000. So this one looks like a pretty good one right here. It's 2,000 reviews, not bad. Uh, here's another one, 36,000 mAh, about $40. And uh, yeah, I mean, they are quite a few of them, uh, 20,000 mAh. So let, let's go back to this one right here, $25 for 25,800 mAh. This doesn't look bad. So just to give you an idea, with this much battery capacity, you can fully, you can almost fully charge your phone six to eight times. Most likely you only need to charge your phone once. So you can just keep it on charge while you're, you know, performing your Hajj journey in your drawstring backpack but you can also charge your portable fan. So perhaps you can just have like a USB cable that comes with it connected to your power bank and it provides it with a good amount of power and battery won't run out. So definitely a good idea. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart. You wanna bring extra chargers. So make sure that you bring extra chargers. So let's look up a iPhone lightning charger. Bring as many as you, as you can because the chargers is always gonna be a problem. Um, let's go with, okay. So there's a six pack here. So two three foots, three six foot and one nine foot. This looks like a good deal. Um, you're looking at a total of six, so that's roughly about four dollars each, and it's also Amazon's choice. Good good ratings, not too many ratings, but good ratings in general. So let's go ahead and add this in as well. Add to cart. I have another uh, very specific thing that you want to bring is a small bag that you can use to store the rocks when you throw the rocks at the shaitan after performing your hajj. So let's look up small bag for travel. Let's see if we can find it. You know what, instead of bag, let's try this. Let's try a small pouch. So something like this should be fine, I think. There's actually six of them for $12. That's, a, that's not a bad price at all. You can actually use these bags for other items as well. Or uh, perhaps if you, uh, you, know, you got five or six people, uh, you can give one for each. You know that, that also works out perfect. So let's go with this, add to cart. 
One thing that's super useful while you're traveling is a neck pillow. So I would definitely recommend to get that, especially when you're in your tents in Mina and Muzdalifa, when you're in the open skies, having a neck pillow can really, really be beneficial. So let's also look for that. There's one particular one that I want to find. It's a, a memory cushion. It's like a memory foam one. It's really good. This one right here. Okay, so there's two of them. So you can see this one right here. That's the exact one I have. And this is also another one. This is a little bit cheaper, but I like this one because I've had it before. It's really good. Uh, you can see you can get one of these kinds, but I haven't tried them before. And I mean, it doesn't look that comfortable, to be honest. So we're going to go with this one. This is a really good one. I definitely recommend this. You, see, you can see it's Amazon's choice. Let's go ahead and add that. It's extremely, extremely comfortable. Another item we want to bring is a reusable water bottle. So let's look up water bottle. Matter of fact, uh, a good brand is Contigo. So let's look that up. Okay, so this one right here is Chill 2.0 Vacuum Sealed Stainless Steel Water Bottle. So you can keep like cold water in this one and it's definitely going to be helpful. I see this one is a little bit larger, 24 ounce capacity. So let's go with that one because you want something ideally in, in that heat. You want something that you can store cold liquid in so that it replenishes you. So. This looks like it's a good one. Contigo is really um, the best. It has the auto spout and everything. It has a clip so you can hold hold it by that clip too. Yeah, let's let's go with this one. It's it's 24 ounce, so pretty good capacity. They did have well, I do see 32 ounce. Let's see if we can find it 32 ounce. I don't like that color though. Uh, okay. Here we go, 32 ounce, even better. So $27, 32 ounce vacuum sealed. Looks like a good option here. Vacuum insulated, keeps drinks cold for 24 hours and hot for six hours. So this looks ideal. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart. You probably already have a pair of sunglasses. You wanna bring some extra pairs with you, like uh, just in case you might lose your sunglasses or misplace them or they might break. So I definitely recommend having at least a second pair of sunglasses. Um, the ones you're gonna find on Amazon are, won't be that great. So tr try to look for like a little bit nicer ones like Ray-Bans or something like that because they're actually reliable. These ones in that heat, in that 120 degree heat, it's very possible that the film that's on your sunglasses will start to melt or something maybe perhaps warp or deform. So it's better to get like an actual good brand, to be honest with you. Uh, a good brand is Oakley. They're pretty durable. So let's see if they have Oakley. Okay, so yeah, $59, not bad. These ones are a little bit nicer. I would probably go with something like that, I think. I'm not a big fan of the color though. Uh, these, no, not so much. So, I mean, they, they have some good options here, not bad. Let's check out Ray-Ban too, just to get an idea. They do actually sell Ray-Ban. Okay, so, oh, okay, yeah. Ray-Ban, yeah, it's only uh, 86 hours and 89 hours. So yeah, not bad. Uh, you probably want to go with something like this. Yeah, they look they look pretty good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and add those to the cart. Uh, you want to bring masks with you because there will be millions of pilgrims here coming from around the world. And while everyone should technically have the COVID vaccine and meningitis vaccines and any other vaccines if need be, uh, it's always safe to have a mask because it, there's a very high chance that you could catch the flu or something like that. You don't want that to affect your capability of performing your Hajj uh, duties, right? So let's look at masks. So on Amazon, you can find masks for very cheap. You can see they're $100 each. I prefer the KF 94s. To be honest, I prefer those as opposed to those normal ones. These ones are reusable and they're a lot more effective. You know, these different colors, you can see there's 100 for just $15. That's very cheap. The ones I get are the LG ones. Let me see if I can find them. Right here. Here we go. And realistically, you only need one of these masks for your whole Hajj journey, but it's okay to have a few extra. So I would probably go for this 10 pack. It's $16. It's not bad. It's $1.60 per mask. And these are very high quality. They're individually wrapped and they're very good. So I definitely recommend to get these. And let's go ahead and add them to our cart. Now during Hajj, you're going to be in Aram and you can't have any scented products on you. So you want to try to bring products that don't have scent just to be on the safe side for your entire duration if possible so one thing in the heat in the desert heat that you're definitely going to make use of is sunscreen so you want to look for 
sunscreen but unscented so with sunscreens you got to be pretty selective you have to go with the right brands because a lot of them have a lot of bad issues going on with them so to be on the safe side you want to go with a trusted brand uh, i know la roche posay is a good brand let's check if this is unscented real quick oil free fragrance free fragrance free and it's water resistant for 80 minutes which is nice so this looks like a good one i would probably go with something like this because your spf is pretty high too and it's also light um reviews look really good on it oil free this and it's also for sensitive skin in case you might have sensitivity so this is a good one i recommend to get this one let's go ahead and add that to the cart on the topic of sunscreen you probably want to bring uh something like unscented lotions and also deodorant so for lotion you can go with Avino is a good one Avino is a really good brand um, I would probably go with that as opposed to all these other ones to be honest with you so you can get a three pack right here you can get three pack for 981 or you can pick up a bigger size one for 728 while you're since you're traveling you probably want to go with this because you want to keep any fluids or you know creams and stuff like that under three ounces so this looks like a good one right here let's just make sure it's unscented fragrance free and intensely nourishes dry skin so this is a good one right here let's go ahead and add it to the cart now let's look for unscented deodorant so native is a really good brand and uh, it uses a lot of like uh, natural ingredients this is probably going to be the best one so you can see it's coconut oil and shea butter so this is a good one right here unscented aluminum free and paraben free uh, it is a little bit on the pricier side but it's worth it because the quality is really high on this so let's go ahead and add that to the cart you want to bring some unscented hand soap too and hand sanitizer so let's see hand soap it's hypoallergenic unscented readily biodegradable formula with vitamin e and antioxidants so this looks like a good one right here. Reviews check out too. Safer choice and scent free. Okay, so yeah, let's go with this one. Let's add this to the cart. And then unscented hand sanitizer. Okay, so you can opt to go with these little bottles, two ounces each, or you can go with three of these pumps pump bottles these look a little bit nicer to be honest um i feel like these are gonna be a little bit more practical than those little bottles so i would probably go i would probably go with this made in the usa too so good quality fragrance free alcohol free perfect so we'll go with that a few other things that, uh, that i want to mention are you want to bring some sort of like a muscle cream type of thing because you will be walking a lot let's actually check if there's a muscle cream that's unscented So that you can also use this during Hajj. Uh, so there's a couple. Oh, so there are a couple of options here. Blue Emu is a good one. I rather go with more of the trusted brand. So Blue Emu Super Strength. It is fragrance free, paraben free, sulfate free, and it contains emu oil. So met. Get rid of the menthol stench, odor free, non greasy, irritation free. So, this looks like a good one. Let's go with that. You want to bring some sort of painkillers with you just in case, uh, Allah forbid, you might get a headache or, you know, some, some other kind of pain. You're going to need something to, you know, help you continue on your journey. So, Tylenol Extra Strength is always a good option. Here we are. And you might want to bring some aspirin too, just to be on the safe side. There we go, bear, aspirin, genuine, add to cart. Other items you're gonna need are, of course you're gonna need a haram. You're gonna need shoes. So let's look at the shoes first. You're gonna want, for, for your haram, you're gonna to wanna to get shoes that don't have stitching. So a good option is always Crocs. 
since they don't have stitching. Now you don't have to actually get the Crocs brand because it has like an image made on it. So it's a little bit controversial to bring that depending on what school you follow. So you can go with one of the, the actual uh, cheap ones. So in order to find the off brand ones, you can just type in clogs. You can see that these ones are available here. Reviews look pretty decent and I don't see any signs of stitching on these. They look somewhat comfortable. So whatever your size is, mine is 10. So add, you want to bring, uh, you want to bring some thick socks so that you have, uh, you won't be able to wear these in Iran, but it's going to help out while uh, you're out of the state of Iran, just for walking around and giving you that comfort that you need. So I'm just going to look for men. Thick socks, anti-blister cushion, breathable running. So, th so these Nike ones look pretty good. They're cushioned. You can see the extra padding on these. So just choose your size, uh, large, I'm assuming. And you can go ahead and add that to the cart. You know what? One thing I forgot to mention was uh, like you need to bring a charger adapter with international type outlets on it. So charger adapter. So I've actually gotten this one before. It's pretty good. Um, and it has a lot of USB slots on it. So it's kind of just one that can be used for multiple things. This is probably gonna be your best option right here. So even just having one of these, if you have like a traditional plug for something, you can plug that in and then everything else can get, go in via, uh, you know, your USB-A or USB-C. And there's quite a few USB-Cs on here, as you can see. And this covers uh, Europe, UK, US and Australia type outlets, basically all of them. In Saudi, you're going to usually see this UK type or you're going to see this EU type from what I've seen. So it's usually one of these two. Dep depends really on the hotel. If you're going to be staying in the clock tower, you're probably going to have the US type. You don't have to worry about it, but so it depends on what hotel you get and, you know, on the tents and everything. Most likely than, than anything, it's probably going to have one of these two. So you want to get this for sure. So it's going to definitely help you out a lot. Now, if you're bringing an uh, elderly family member or someone, you know, or someone perhaps with a disability, it might be a good idea to bring a wheelchair, a portable one. So a lightweight wheelchair that you can just, you know, somehow, some way, somehow pack or bring as a separate checked item. Uh, there's a few good ones here. You can see this one has like, looks like the highest reviews. This is also a good one. I think this is probably going to be the best one. It's lightweight, blue colored, $139, not a bad price. And uh, you can choose the size. So depending on uh, what size you need, sorry, 16, 18 or 20 inch seat. And then just go ahead and add that to the cart. Now let's move on to Ihram. So uh, you're going to need Ihram. Um, I wouldn't really recommend getting this from Amazon. If possible, if you're able to go to like a local store that might be near you and get Ihram from there, it's probably gonna be the best. Or if you've gone for Umrah before and you have some Ihram, that's perfect too. When you arrive in Jeddah, you're gonna have to perform Umrah. So that's the reason you're gonna need the Ihram. Now the actual Ihram for Hajj, you can buy while you're in Makkah. You can get like a really nice one if you like, or, you know, depending on what quality you want. So you just need something so that as soon as you land in Jeddah, you can go for Umrah once you check into your hotel. So if you already have Ihram from the last travel that you've done, that's fine, just pack that. Uh, if not, just get a normal one here from Amazon and uh, you're just gonna use it one time. The one that you're gonna get from Amazon is not gonna be that great quality, to be honest with you. So I only expect it to be only used once and then you just gotta toss it. So uh, just choose wisely. Let's just go with the first one that's Amazon's choice here. And uh, it doesn't have a size. So uh, we'll just go with whatever size that is. Uh, and same for the sisters, you wanna just get an abaya and you just need that for, uh, you know, performing uh, Umrah as soon as you land in Jeddah and go to Mecca. So you can see there's a couple of different options here. You can choose. Prices aren't that bad on here. So so you can see they also have like coupons and things like that. So just choose what, whichever style you think is appropriate. And now with your Ihram and Abaya, um, you're gonna wanna get a belt and some pins. So um, let's look up Ihram belt. So here is one right here. This is your traditional Ihram belt that you normally would get in Saudi. You can see this is a very, very traditional one. Um, you can actually buy the Ihram with it too. It's $59 for the whole package, which is not bad. It comes with Misvak too, as you can see. <laughs> so if you want to just pick up the whole package, you can get it. But um, since we've already gotten the, since we've already gotten the Ihram in our cart, we're just going to go with this. Add that to the cart. And then pins. 
so you want some safety pins you don't need a thousand obviously <laughs> but it uh, looks like that's the only option they have let's let's actually search safety pins and see if we can get uh, okay here we go 250 different sizes you want to just get the large ones most likely uh 150 so th okay here this has all different sizes so this one looks good 599 really good price and then you get two dollars off too um so let's go ahead and add that to the cart now one thing i recommend to get is a prayer mat you can just bring the ones that you have at home um, but you want to if possible try to get the one with the extra cushion um i bought a lot of those from saudi and that's my, those are my favorite ones it makes just you know standing on the we so in my language we call it janamas right so it just makes it standing on the janamas so much easier and comfortable so if you want to purchase one you could probably get from amazon thick prayer mat that's padded so these kinds right here are nice um these are the common ones as well so you, you can choose whichever one you think is appropriate okay i see one here padded yeah okay so this is one of the thick ones yep and it has a non-slip thing on it too so yeah these are the kinds that i have too uh, these ones are good so if you want you can you can buy one it's it's only 30 dollars. it's not too expensive and one last final item this is especially for those people that get dry eyes you want to get eye drops so uh, eye drops are very essential because it's going to be very hot there and it's desert climate so you're going to get uh, dry eyes so get eye drops for dry eyes refresh is the best um, you can get these little ones like this or the actual bottles i prefer the bottles uh, sustain is good too but i feel like it's like a little too oily or something i don't like it uh refresh tears is the best one i definitely recommend that one so let's go with refresh tears add that in and done so for the most part this covers all of the essential personal items that you would need for hajj of course there are more items and uh, as i pack and go i will be making more videos on that so now i just want to take a few minutes to talk about the documents that you're going to need for your Hajj journey. So number one, obviously you need your passport and you want to bring uh, any vaccination certificate or indoor cards with you. So if you have your COVID card, COVID vaccine card, make sure you bring that with you. If you have a meningitis vaccine uh, certificate, you want to make sure you bring that with you as well. And if you have any other type of uh, required vaccinations, it depends on what country, what continent you come from. North America, all we need is meningitis and COVID. Um, and they don't really ask about it, but it's just better to be on the safe side. You don't want any hard time when you reach uh, Jidda Airport or any of the airports in uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia. So you want to do make sure you want to make sure that you bring that. You also want to print out your airline ticket itself. Obviously, when you check in, you're going to get your boarding pass and stuff like that. But just also print out your ticket. Uh, just be on the safe side. Now, you can request a receipt on Nusuk Hajj for the package that you paid for. Make sure to print that receipt out showing that you made the payment and uh, you have the confirmation for that as well. You should have your booking number and everything on there too. You want to bring that with you, a hard copy of that, just in case, just in case. This, this is the first time in history that Nusuk Hajj is being utilized for Hajj. So this is, there's a chance that, you know, there might be some issues when, when you land. Allah knows best, but it's better to be on the safe side. Uh, we saw how many issues there were with just this platform launching. So... I wouldn't be surprised if there was issues with, uh, you know, getting into Saudi Arabia and, and for processing your Hajj entry. You also want to print out your Hajj visa that you received on Nusuk Hajj. Print that out. Make sure you have extra copy of that too to be on the safe side. Now, if you did like I did and you booked your hotel separately, like you only bought the camp only Mashara package, print out all the hotel bookings you got. Make sure they're confirmed and paid for and everything and that you have a booking number and everything like that. So make sure you print out that entire thing. Yeah, you can have screenshots on your phone and stuff like that, but you also want to have it printed out just to be on the safe side. You want to bring some cash with you too. So if you're coming from America, bring some US dollars. You can get it exchanged to uh, Saudi Riyals at the airport, at any airport in Saudi Arabia. So uh, just make sure you have some cash on you because if you if you land in Jeddah, you know, you're going to have to go to Mecca to your hotel and then perform Umrah. So you're going to have to need, you're going to need to pay the taxi. And taxis usually, depending on the size of the taxi, it's usually about 100, 150 to 200. I've even seen 250 to get to uh, Mecca from Jeddah. So try not to overpay for that. Uh, try to keep it under 200 to try to keep it under 250 300 reals 
a hot season the prices might go up Allah knows best but yeah that just about sums it up I really hope that this video was of benefit to you if it was please make sure to drop a like on this video and of course if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comments below I'll try to get to them this video I didn't cover any of the comments that I might have missed I'm going to try to actually reply to all the comments that I can inshallah in the next video I'm going to try to cover any comments that I miss so uh, please uh, ask away any questions that you might have inshallah uh, and lastly make sure to share this video with any friends or family whoever you think might benefit from this. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all alerts so that you stay up to date with Hajj 2023. I'm going to be documenting my experience for Hajj 2023 as a Western pilgrim. And hopefully this will be a benefit to you. Uh, if you saw my last video on how to build your own deluxe VIP Hajj package via Nusuk Hajj, I hope that if you haven't gone for Hajj this year, and inshallah you have uh, Nia to go for next year, I hope that video really helps you. I, I definitely recommend and urge you to watch that video. Just check my previous uploads. I'm going to have a card up on the top right anyways for that video. Just make sure to check that video out because it will be very beneficial and you'll be able to create your own VIP deluxe hudge package for a fraction of the cost. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Jazakallah khair. Take care.